Taco Spirit got us a solo leveling episode 7 review. This is not a reaction. This is a review, but I'm going to react to his review. Let's see what he has to say. I'm more and more convinced that Sung is getting baited bad. <laughs> Sung is getting baited bad By? into going to these dungeons. By what? I, it's one of those things where I'm curious because... The system? Yes, technically Sung is doing this whole thing as a player and getting all these items and getting leveled up and everything like that. But the question mark is, can he use anything that he has on other people? So when you have this whole... Like if you buy a potion from this shop with gold... Can we actually use it on someone else? Interesting. Scenario where literally, again, the system I feel like is baiting him going, ooh, an elixir of life. You want this, right? Come into this dungeon. You can get the elixir of life that cures. Yeah, do you think that this that was a coincidence? Like, oh, here's a blessed box and a cursed box. You have the option to choose between the two. Oh, you chose the blessed box? Here's a dungeon key for the potion. That's going to cure your mom. It's like, huh? Just a coincidence? Do you think that we, it was an illusion of choice? Regardless if we chose the cursed box or the blessed box, we would have gotten the same key because the system is pushing us towards doing this? I mean, the system's pretty nice then, right? I mean, he's even giving us like a, an item that's going to fix her mom. Everything. And it's just so convenient that your mother has an affliction that nobody knows how to cure. Yeah. And this can cure it. Hmm. I wonder if you will come to the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, he's like, all right, gotta go to the dungeon. Interesting though. The Manwa doesn't yeah, I think th have any... I think a better, like, explanation... It is a nice coincidence, but it also is a benefit towards the system because the system wants Sung Jin Mu to be stronger. I don't know, they keep, you know, scaling him up in pretty relative difficulties to really level him up and get stronger, and this is another way to incentivize him to get stronger, so it makes sense, and I'm, I guess we're still gonna go with, like, the Battle of Gods concept, you know? We are just a player, and there's multiple gods, and they're just fucking around and putting up against each other, who knows? mention of that at least so far i mean at some point in the manhwa as he goes if he does go in the dungeon i think he's actually going in the dungeon in the manhwa at least i like i said before mm -hmm. i i read up to what the episode ends at so i can kind of see what's different and there is something in the manhwa that i don't even want to mention here i'll 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 mention at the end of the episode huh? or this video so that people that don't want to know don't know but okay even in the manhwa it seemed like he was going in there because he kind of defeated the the sort of us a lot easier in the manhwa so i don't know it really? seems like this could be a point which they might deviate so this is anime original people are saying that the Cerberus fight was a lot harder in the anime compared to the the manhwa the webtoon but this is not based on the webtoon it's based on the light the novel right the the novel that's based the novel made the webtoon that made the that's not the right way the novel is the OG source, but I hear that people are saying that the webtoon, it's a bit different. And like if the Cerberus fight was easy, wasn't the Kasuka fight also like easier? So the anime is intentionally doing this to make it seem like Sung Jin Mu isn't just steamrolling everything, but have like a hard time, you know, have some difficulty so that it's worth when you defeat this thing. You feel the progression, you feel like you earned it. From the manhwa? I, I've heard some people say that it's closer to the novel, but I, I think I've read that it's supposed to be based off the web manga, so... No, it's supposed to be based off the web novel, right? Am I crazy here? Like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm right here, right? Like, there is the webtoon that people call the manhwa for whatever reason, but there is the novel, and the novel is the OG source that the anime is adapting, right? So, who knows <laughs> at this point, but yes, technically when he got the key in the anime, it said that it has, like, potential of getting the elixir of life. Again, the key doesn't mention that in the manhwa. He goes in there and beats the Cerebus. Again, he beats it better. And the manhwa, it doesn't give him the crafting... Uh, no recipe? recipe? So, no. I, I think in the anime, it's sort of implying more so that he's being baited in there. And... I guess if the webtoon didn't do that, the anime is intentionally doing this to further exaggerate that... The system is trying to really incentivize Sung Jin to get stronger. Something that I wasn't getting an right? indication from from the manhwa. Which, yes, is the whole thing that I opened this up with. I really do feel at this point Sung is getting baited bad. <laughs> which, again, makes sense because it seems like the system it's is a trying good to bait. a player and trying to get him, trying to push him to getting stronger. Do all these push-ups. Do all this running. Do this. Go in this dungeon. Here's a key. Go in that dungeon. Level up. All that kind of stuff. It's it Again, even with the, the guys turning on him in the dungeon, go kill them. It's trying to keep him alive. And even with the Cerebus fight, it's constantly alerting him. You're going to die. <laughs> Warning. Stop losing. <laughs> you I thought that was just a game UI. You know, you start getting hit in like different games like Modern Warfare, like COD or like Halo, right? You, your armor goes down. It's like beep, 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 beep. You know, the whole fucking screen goes red. Now, 
that is the effect when you're playing a game. And I guess Sung Jimin is a player. So him having this UI menus pop up and have all these different warnings. That is the game system. So I guess that's... Yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. Or you might want to get out of there. I mean, when you really think about it, these are just visual cues to tell the user that, hey, shit's going wrong, you should fix something. But if you really think about it, because he is a player, the system is intentionally doing that to keep him alive. Yeah, it makes sense. Something like that. But I, I, I still feel like it is all seemingly a setup that this system... Again, my theory has been this... this Battle this of Gods. Statue, ...or at least some being in this other world is trying to build up Song so that he probably defeat somebody else which makes me kind of question is this who's the enemy castle one of their adversaries are we building up sung jim moose so that he can go beat this demon castle it's an instance dungeon though i thought these instance dungeons are just like random playgrounds so like it it it, it this isn't like the final end game boss that this god or this developer or whatever admin of this you know this world this game that we're playing in is Trying to defeat. I doubt it. Are they bringing him there? Are they giving him a key to... Essentially, each one of these keys that he's getting, are they essentially keys to getting into location where there's somebody that this god or whatever of this other world is trying to get rid of? So, okay, mm. this god of this other world, th there's a demon king of this other group that he doesn't like. All right, let me send him there and have him take out that group. That's what... Uh... That is definitely a possibility, but I feel like that's not the way we're going. I'm getting a feeling. Of, and, and it's... And it's Technically, what my feeling is, this entire system that is surrounding Sung, and I could be overthinking this way too much, but this is what I hope this series is doing because this is actually kind of clever. Maybe this whole system that's surrounding him is literally just this god or whatever just trying to bestow him blessings and giving him items so that he can get stronger. Maybe. And in that effect, yes, this key is an actual key to opening up to get to this location but all the flavor text on there is literally these little things that it's trying to bait him with. Like, oh, let me put on there that there's an elixir that he can get. Then he'll definitely go in that dungeon. Sure I mean, enough, he goes in the dungeon. Definitely right, going to incentivize him to do it, yeah. Let me, let me give him, through the system, let me give him an item. Because there's like this different reality of, okay, our world going through these portals, physically going through these portals to this other world physically. But what's the thing that's kind of outside of that? What do you it's mean? the system that's surrounding him. It's okay. the prompts and everything. I think all that stuff is just whatever being is trying to manipulate him and give him items. Because, honestly, uh, there's no the, – the screens themselves aren't physical. Nobody else sees them. Only he sees them. So it's just like this fabricated thing in his own mind that has this system that has all the stuff. And maybe when he selects to get the sword out of it from um, – You mean him, the menu? The, the bag? That, yes, at that point, it's just the system just giving it to him. But it is curious, and I, and I think uh, with this, this, let this him cook. elixir of life, let it him cook. seems to be solidifying more and more and more that this is a, this is baiting. They're they're baiting him. To I mean, these are great baits. Like, like what what have you got? Baited to become stronger. Baited to get you know fix her mom. It's not like they're fake promises, or I hope at least it isn't. It seems like they're all legit. But this is a great bait. So far, the system is being very nice to some Jimmy. In fact, this is the best thing that could have ever happened to him. Right? Like, what would you want? A situation where he remains the same character. He would have already died if he was, right? That versus this, this guy now. I feel like everything is looking too good. But there has to be some kind of trade-off, right? This can't be just, oh, there's no, you know, there's, there's no, like, consequences to this. There has to be some strings attached, right? To getting in there, getting stronger and all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, there would be no reason that he he'd push himself this much but yeah there's quite a few other things that are very curious about this episode for one thing i think they did a better job in the manhwa of kind of explaining what this guy's brother is all about Hong and Su. obviously it indicated in the anime that yes he got notification that his brother is dead that his whole party was wiped out two people remained which were sign-ins even he got the indication that yes this song and this uh, yo both of them were temporary i, d I don't know who this yo is he keeps saying Yo. That's Jin Ho, right? Is it Yo Jin Ho? Is that his full name? Let's do this right now. Solo leveling Jin Ho. What's his, what's his surname? It's Yu Jin Ho. It's not Yo. I don't need to like criticize, but it's just like sometimes he says shit, the names, and I'm like, Jung Sung Woo. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Or he's that join his party. And it seems like he's paranoid enough to think that my brother would never lose his life protecting somebody else and if these mm. two weaklings survived that's right he would never protect someone else my brother's a fucking scumbag that would have schemed and made them die so we can take the loot that doesn't add up 
it w- the only re- the only reason that th- my these two guys wouldn't survive, my brother would die, is if one he saved their lives, which he mm. wouldn't do. He wouldn't do that for. Weeklings. He would never do that. Or two, he died. They double-crossed him. Yeah, they set up a trap and got my brother killed. So it obviously at it, it, that Deserved. point it gives me a little bit more indication that yeah, I can see why this guy would immediately assume Sung did something wrong. But the other thing that the Manwa puts in more better perspective is yes, in the anime at some point he asks his assistant, "What would happen if Laura. I killed somebody?" <laughs> What if what would happen if I went to another? Yeah, bro was like, mm, okay. What's the penalties for overseas murder, Laura? Another country and kill somebody, and then she starts getting into all the like the. We're trying to do like risk analysis to figure out like, is this worth it? What's the best way to do this and get away with it? Association trees and all that kind of stuff. What is actually happening here is she's she implies to him strictly that Korea, which is where they were at. Korea doesn't see Yu Jin Ho, not Yo. It's not Yo Jin Ho. It's Yu Jin Ho. Not have this this agreement. Was it, what, what did she call it? Was the um, Indian Treaty of Criminal Hunters? They don't. They have not concluded the Indian Treaty of uh, Criminal Hunters. Thus, what she tells him, what she tells this guy's brother, this which is an S rank. If you go there and mm-hmm. you kill somebody, they don't. There, you're not going to be prosecuted in Korea. They would send you back to America, which is where great, you're at, great. where the American government would handle you. They would, would they be mad? You. And due I to their know. negotiations, you no, you wouldn't really see much out of it. Exactly. I I, I doubt Huang Dong Suk would get in trouble if he successfully murdered Korean people and then came back to America because he's got the privilege of an S rank, right? And I think that's probably why this other guy, which I think is Wu, um, the one that was brought the paperwork at the very manager Wu, my 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 bro Otaku Spirit really. He loves truncating that extra O at the end of all names. Whoa, it's it's Yo Jin Ho for him instead of you, and this is Manager Wo instead of Manager Wu. Just just add the extra O in there, bro. You're so close. Opening up the episode where they were saying, you know, you need to look into this, uh, this Sung guy, which yes, we had to run into before. He was one of the two survivors, and yeah, the one of the people that died in that dungeon was this guy, and yes, his brother is this S rank. I think the reason why it piqued Woe's interest is possibly because, yeah, he knows this s rank's going to come over here and kill somebody. Does he? <laughs> like, yes. Does he actually? There's this whole incident that happened the other day, and this... Well, the- I mean, he, well, Hwang Dong-su is a s rank hunter from Korea, but I wouldn't expect, like, manager Wu to, like, know all the intricacies and, like, how he would personally feel about this, but okay. Hwang Suk guy died, and, yeah, his brother's probably going to want to get revenge. And I think they know that. And I think okay. they know there's going to be some sort of essentially a conflict that's going to happen between these two countries. Like somebody. You, you think uh, manager Wu is going to now play defense for Sung Jin Wu and like help him out maybe? Somebody's going to come from another country and kill somebody in this country. And that's not something good. So I think that's probably why he wants to look into it is because he okay. knows that this guy's going to take advantage of how this treaty was not signed. And he's probably going to want to take out one of our hunters. And we don't need that. We don't want to see that. But again, it does go back to my usual joke that I have of this series of how terrible they do any kind of investigation. And if they did better investigations, they probably would know what's going on. But uh, but still. Honestly, I think Otaku Spirit is right on point about this part, though. Because, like, I, manager who doesn't give a fuck. E- even the paper is like, he, like, the person was reporting to me, like, sir, all this shit happened. He's like, oh, two survived? It's like, yeah. It's like, ah, who cares? But they're, they're such low levels. How could they kill the boss? They probably escaped. No, they did kill the boss, sir. It's like, oh, really? Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Sir! Song Jun Wu is on the paper. It's like, oh, that guy again. All right, maybe I'll go actually, and I, I I feel like they do sometimes. It it looks like they're doing a shitty job, even though they do get to the point. The 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 fight itself, I'm jumping all over the place. Um, yes, okay. The spider yeah, fight. I did like the opening episode or part of this episode. The interesting thing that happened very different in the anime. There's so much different stuff in this an, in the uh, mono version, uh, but I did find it kind of interesting. It doesn't really change too much. That in the opening segment with Sung coming home. And, you know, giving his sister some snacks and some good chicken and everything. And called her fat. Food. He actually has money for once. Talking about how he has money to pay for the bills for a little bit. Things are going well. She does ask him about the whole raid and how it went. And he's mentioning that it, I guess it went well. I'm still waiting. <laughs> but, yes, it kind of gets a little bit into his mindset of. In your psyche is changing. That, obviously taking people lives, which yes. I, I think at this point it sort of, it seems like it's kind of taking the the direction with, with Sung's character uh, Jin Wo's character, and that he is 
he's not really feeling too bad about what he did. He feels pretty decent. Now, obviously, he questions it, but at the same time, it seems to be implying the idea that because of how powerful he is, because he's getting stronger, it's not affecting him like it would typically would. At the time, like his I didn't hesitate. If like his body like changes, but also his like inner like mind is changing, right? He's becoming more cold and ruthless. And that, and yet again, there's still monkeys in my YouTube comment section still trying to give me some kind of logical reasoning as to why this could be happening. It's like, bro, don't you know? He's been leveling up. Implicitly, he's been getting plus one on the instat. That plus one on the instat is the reason why Sung Jin Woo's personality is changing. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Please just shut the fuck up. Your reasoning is so bullshit. The whole part of him getting stronger, I don't think has to do anything with intelligence. I think if anything, intelligence might make me him a little bit more logical, maybe a little bit smarter. If we're going to go with the the uh, the trend of, oh, if you add in the strength, you know, he's going to get more muscular because that's how he should be, right? So what? The vitality is it, what, as long as he keeps getting plus one of vitality, he's going to get, keep getting fatter. Some people are literally saying, no, bro, he's changing and getting taller because his vitality is increasing. It's like, okay, how tall is he going to be at the end of the season if he keeps fucking leveling up? Seven foot two? When is the fucking end? Like, you don't have to have a logical reasoning, okay? And every time you fucking try to justify why it's happening, it just comes off so cringe. Because there are other people specifically saying, yo, the reason why he's changing based off of the stats are actually spoilers and we can't tell you. It's like, all right, fair enough. But then you got other people that's probably anime only trying to give me their own headcanon. It's like, please shut the fuck up. If anything, I resented them for thinking they had a chance against me. <laughs> That that's a I, I guess that's kind of a you know kill or be killed kind of mentality there. I, but I I think it's kind of interesting that it doesn't seem like it's really kind of bugging him too much. Instead, he's just he's more pretty chill with the it. The fact that the gap was too wide, but yet it was really easy. I did it, didn't hesitate, and yeah, technically, if it happens again, I won't hesitate because my priority is my family. Yeah. So fair. It, it, I don't know. It, it seems to be implying this idea that because he's leveling. It's giving him a sense of boldness, which could be the idea that because he's getting... I think that, like, anything in life, right? Not even... Like, you don't have to be a fucking Sung Jin Woo with a leveling system. Like, anything in life, the more you do something, the more you accomplish and you feel a progression, you feel more confident. You feel like I've achieved a goal. I can do more things, right? So, obviously, with Sung Jin Woo growing and rapidly, like, I'm sure he's going to have way more confidence now. Being stronger because he's getting so powerful, he's losing that sense of what's right and wrong, which could be an interesting... The morality going away? Ah, I don't know, but when the game system told him to kill and he did kill, I did feel like there was like a switch where he just kind of like crossed the bridge. And it's like there's no going back, but he's pretty cool with it. Direction to take the character. I don't know if that's the direction they're taking. Is it the stats that's affecting the way that he thinks about the situation? Maybe. he's getting drunk on his power? I could totally see it being an aspect of him getting drunk on his power. The idea that he's getting so strong and things are so easy to take out. I like this one. I'll talk with spirit is cooking with this one. Power tripping Sung Jin Woo. You know what? I'd like that. Like a dark Sung Jin Woo. You know, the, this, this kid isn't like enough of being nice. How about let's get super strong and become a fucking menace to society. I like that. He doesn't feel the weight of his decisions. Like the idea that all I have to do is flick a finger and somebody disappears. It's less impactful than I had to sit there and beat them and beat them and beat them until they finally clunk out. That could be the direction they take, and that could be actually an interesting route to go. But no, when he realizes that he's drinking and it's detoxifying, wah, he wah. in the manhwa, he immediately goes to his room and he drinks the venom there. Oh, does <laughs> I was he? Like, when I was reading that, I'm like, wait, he did it back here. <laughs> That's. I guess the anime having the venom during the fight made it way more hype. If he drank the venom back at home, like like the whole scene of Sung Jae Moon, like trying to desperately figure out what can I do, what can I do, right? And then figuring out, oh shit, I got the Venom thing, right? At that moment, I feel like the anime's direction of introducing the Venom there is way better than doing the Venom back at home, if this is true. It's a bit different. Uh, because, yes, technically in the in the anime, it's more implying the idea that it was like a last resort. Which, again, yeah. I think the Cerebus fight in the anime was a lot, lot Carter. more weighed on the idea that he's going to lose. In the manhwa, he's just kind of throwing the thing around and beating the crap. But yeah, really? he's getting hurt. And yes, he gets really low HP. But like, it was an S-Frank dungeon. And he still just like bodied it that easily in the webtoon? He, but he just kind of beats it. He doesn't go to the shop. He huh. doesn't He doesn't drink the, post, the, the venom in order to kind of strengthen himself up. He literally just destroys the thing. And I think in the anime, it did a better, better job of kind of portraying the fact that he was getting beat down. Honestly, watching the anime, I thought he was going to lose. 
I thought he was going to end up leaving. It did look pretty bad. It's sort of a a problem that I have is that I, I kind of was hoping this would be the first moment that he loses. Jinwo gets kind of his face rubbed in the ground. Because ever since he became literally being able to I, I will talk with Ferris wants to uh, cut uh, Jinwoo's uh, peg a little bit, huh? He's, he's getting too high on himself, huh? Level up. He hasn't really faced a challenge. Mm. Yes, he is. He gets beat True. up, but he's never lost. That's but it's it pushes him pretty fucking far, huh? The Kasuka fight was pushed pretty far. The um, Hwang dong Su fight, there weren't really much of a threat. But the spider, it was kind of difficult. Not really. The, the Cerberus fight, definitely super difficult. But he hasn't, like, lost, right? Should we take an L? I don't know. I, I like this current win record. As long as he keeps struggling and then wins, I'm, I'm fine with it. That's the key thing. Now, granted, in this type of setting, loss is death. Yeah. But it, it's still with the option of... There, there's to... different ways of losing without actually dying. For example, Cerberus like, almost like kills him and he, he sees that it's almost dead and just like walks away. And Jinwoo just like barely just like crawls away to the gate. You know, There's other ways of doing losses without killing himself. Teleport out. He could lose and get out of there. Or he could just retreat and try to fight something else, get stronger, and then come back. So I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that this hmm. wasn't as difficult of a fight to go through than you would I mean it was pretty difficult I, and I, though. I kind of want him to lose once he just straight up uh, wants him to lose show that he's not OP I do like that I, I do think it's doing a better job than most shows in showing a struggle but at the same time he's not technically losing ever and I do if he lost I feel a lot of people would like be like he's a fucking fraud you know, he's a fucking L fraud. <laughs> Sung Jinwoo, my ass, dude. This guy's a fucking loser. I don't know. Can he lose right now? And would the public be okay with it? I'm not really sure. I think a lot of solo leveling haters would start making a shitload of meme videos and like video essays on like why he's a fucking fraud. I mean, you saw what happened with like certain Jujutsu Kaisen characters losing and people are like, fraud, fraud. I do kind of want him to have a loss. But I don't know. Maybe that'll be... The dungeon, if the, the castle, if he does actually go back. I think I covered everything else. Like I said, I'm... Before we go, the castle part, the demons, remember? Remember, when we were looking for job posting and scrolling, there was a quest that says, like, gathering demons or something. Pe like, trying to hire people that can control demons. What was that about? So does this imply that, like, instance dungeon... Because, like, this is an instance dungeon. And I thought instance dungeons are unique to Song Jin Mu. That means the demons shouldn't really exist outside... Like, the system, you know? Like, no one should have the access to the instance dungeon, right? So then there's other demons? Or are they the same demons? I don't know. Kind of curious to see where else is going to go in order to level up, to come back in order to fight the, the castle. I do think it is a good idea that he leaves because yeah. he is definitely in a situation where he's not doing very well. Imagine he left and, like, the key disappears. Like, you can only clear the uh, demon gate or whatever one try. Like, you can't just leave, and the key disappears. Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? Like, he can't get the elixir anymore? I'm sure that's not going to be the case, but I was thinking about that. It's like, hmm, what happens if we actually leave here? Are we allowed to come back? The start of his fight, again, in the anime, kind of portrayed it that he was really struggling, but he does want to go back because of that elixir. He does have that... That thing is pulling... Yeah, we'll direction. be back later. Oh, here's the recipe. Now, get the parts for it. It's in the, dun the, the castle. Time to go in the castle. Um, it, giving him still a kind of a breather point, but still interesting. So let's get into the conversation with Jin Ho Yo. And this is where I Jin Ho you you It's okay. Get, it's okay. Get some slight spoilers in here because the anime kind of portray the scene a bit different than the manhwa. The manhwa okay. technically has a conclusion that they might get into the next episode. So I don't want to spoil things for people. All right, so no spoilers. Have that warning. The manhwa does imply what's going to happen after this conversation but he's going to yeah, join Jin, uh Jin Ho comes and beats with Jin Ho yeah and yes Jin Ho trust fun kid boss. Aniki <laughs> hey boss I need your help with something boss uh definitely kind of portrayed J uh, Jin Ho as being a lot more menacing in the in the manhwa like just the menacing? stares that he gives Jin Ho kind of indicate it, uh, it also kind of plays in basically Jin Wu looked at Jin Ho a little bit more menacing in the webtoon compared to the anime? In Jin Ho's mind, as he's sitting here across from somebody that he believes is a ranker, a, a fake ranker. And yes, that he's assuming that Jin Ho is somebody that has that kills for fun, just like most of the... the Excuse me, who? That he's assuming that Jin Ho is somebody that... Jin... Jin Woo. Has, that kills for fun, just like most... 
this is Jin Ho assuming that Jin Wu kills for fun. It, I'm sorry, it's just it's hard to keep track. Okay, the, the fake brinkers. Okay, but yeah, it all plays into what Jin Ho's kind of option here is. He wants to get Jin Wu to help him. <laughs> why? Why? Did, why is it getting rid of the O's all of a sudden? Like he was calling him Jin Wu perfectly until now. W where is the O's going? Why is it getting truncated? Like, what do you mean? With his, you know, getting his guild, which is interesting. I, I, I do like the idea of kind of playing into the business aspects of this whole thing. Yes, I do enjoy this world building. The fact that you need to clear like 10 c rank dungeons. Then you can establish a guild. And with the guilds, now you can like bet and like, I don't know, like, um, it helps Jin Mu out. Because like these portals, different guilds bet and it's like an auction system, right? So some people have dibs on this and that. So now if we get exclusive like rights to a specific dungeon, then like Jin Wu could just like farm everything by himself, right? It, it is only, well, C rank right now is probably still pretty good, right? I don't think we've like surpassed C rank just yet. Well, in terms of like diminishing returns, right? I'm sure a C rank dungeon is still valuable and farming 20 of it is gonna give him a lot of EXP, a lot of, you know, loot and stuff like that. Obviously, Jin Ho is somebody from a family that is very rich. Trust fund and kid. he still has this idea that he wants to be a part of this new guild that they're gonna start for the company. The company itself going out and acquiring materials from these dungeons and bringing them back. It does make sense as to this being a really good way for him Business to model. that position. So it does play out well, the idea of, okay, if I do a bunch of dungeons, if I do these 20 dungeons with a low ranker like you, it'll definitely work out. Now, the additional perspective that we get from the Manwa, Jin Wo does technically agree with something. In the anime, he literally goes to walk away. I'm not going to do this with some, <laughs> some Trust kid. kid. I'm not do it, it's too risky, basically. The anime kind of portrayed it as Jin Wo realized this is too risky. Okay. I've been doing this with him. It would get too much attention. People would realize that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff. But in the manhwa, Jin Wo technically agrees. He okay. actually gives Jin Ho a option. I will do this. If? But it's only the two of us. So he's technically agreeing to it in the manhwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, as long as like I'm able to loot everything, get all the XP, it's pretty valuable to me. <laughs> he literally right here agreed to doing it. Whereas the anime, like I said, the anime, literally he just steps away. And Jin Ho like, says, I'm going to tell everybody your secret. And... Oh yeah, that was that was like a little bit of a threat, right? Because like he didn't say I'm gonna tell everyone's secret, but I see said that like if you do this, I'll take this to the grave, implying that oh, so if we don't agree, you won't take this to your grave, motherfucker. I'm gonna put you in your grave right now. But no, I think Jin Ho's gonna be a good kid. It was just him on his like last desperation move that came off a little rude, and the look that Jin Wu gave to Jin Ho was cold. And he basically gives him a look and walks away. Jin Ho never did that because Jin Wu actually agreed to it saying that i'll okay. do it but the two of us has to go alone and he's like well you have to have a, whole, a full group we'll have people sign it but we'll go in alone and his mindset here oh like quotas like they can do it but they're non-participants to kind of bait jin ho into it is to say it'll look even better if the two of us do it alone so that's very 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 interesting route to kind of take this and again so what i'm guessing is what's going to happen is the next episode they'll probably meet again and mm -hmm. he's going to give him the option of I'll do it, but we both have to do it. I think in the anime, even though there wasn't a specific moment like, oh, if we, I'll, I'll agree if we do it alone, right? I think that the fact that Jin Wu was contemplating the amount of money, what was it like? The valuation of this guild was like 40 billion won or something. I, I forget the exact number. It was a lot of money, right? And then he was like asking like Jenna, his sister, like what would you do if you had this money, right? So he was like, kind of like thinking about it, contemplating. I think that kind of hints towards like that he does want to do it, yeah? Solo. Which, honestly, from Jin Wo's perspective, that makes perfect sense. You would not want a bunch of people joining them to go in there. If the idea is that he's trying to keep his head low, which is what technically Jin Ho is offering him, like, I'll make sure that nobody else knows. This is a perfect way for you to get jobs without having to worry about your rank. Yeah. Yeah, technically. Because, like, other people are going to be like, I don't know, he has to join a guild at some point if he wants to, like, clear dungeons, right? You can't just, like, be a freelancer. I'm not really sure how exactly that works, but having, like, a proxy guild in the Jin Ho makes it so much easier for us to secure gates and to farm EXP like that. It makes sense. This is a, a benefit to Jin Wu. But if they go and do 19 dungeons, they're going to have to have other people with them. Just as quota. to do it with low rankers, yeah, he, somebody's going to find out that Jin Wu is very, very powerful. So it, it, it does technically make sense from his perspective. And obviously for his desire to make money, it makes perfect sense. And to stay low. Now, what's curious is, and this, this is where it kind of gets in that realm of where I think I don't think they'll do this because I know it's going to make too many people angry. 
Hmm? But I can totally see that there is two elements of this episode that sort of does imply that they could take an alternate route. Again, that's, that's oh? if what do you mean? based on the manhwa and not based off the novel and the novel's doing this. And we know that the novel, it's based off the novel. So what Otaku Spirit's about to say is going to happen in the anime. I had the right assumption, right? The anime is not based on the webtoon with the great art, but it is based on the novel. That is my intel. I'm pretty sure that's what it's happening. But what if we're in the manhwa, the idea here is that Jin Ho joins up with Jin Ho and they do... That was... Okay, now he's adding an H on top of Jin, Wu, Jin Wo's name. That was a Jin Ho and then Jin Ho. That's not fair. Listen to this. Uh, the idea here is that Jin Ho... Jo Jin Huo joins, joins up with Jin Ho. J Jin Huo joins up with Jin Huo. No, this guy is trolling me now. He is troll. There's no shot. The, he, the name of Jin Wu has been just like changing throughout this video. He had it perfectly in the beginning. Then he truncated the last O. Now he's adding a fucking H on top of that. No shot. There is no way. He, he's, he's, he's baiting. He's got to be baiting, right? He's, he's got to be baiting so that people type in the comment section and get mad and say, Oh my god, his name is not that, right? No, I think this is a big brain play. I hope it is. So that people get upset and type, which boosts up engagements. I hope that's what's happening. I, I hope that's what's happening. Please. And they do two-person dungeons, and eventually he gains some wealth that way okay. to help support his mother. Whereas in the anime, it's going to go the route of, yes, this elixir that they're now mentioning in the anime is he's going after the elixir to get the elixir to cure his mother, and he never joins up with <laughs> Jin Ho. That would be interesting. Wait, wait. In the novel, we don't join up with Jin Ho? The route of to cure his mother. So so the novel never joined up with Jin Ho because Jin Ho was too busy getting the elixir? But someone also said that the anime is like a hybrid adaptation. It's not just the novel or the webtoon. It's a combination of both. Now... I don't know if you're correct, right? Can I just believe you a random chatter? Your first message is literally in this chat. It's based on both. Surely people online wouldn't lie, right? But okay, we'll, we'll consider that. And he never joins up with <laughs> Jin Ho. That would be interesting. Uh, but yeah, very, very curious episode um, with all the changes that are, like I said, very, very significant changes in my opinion. Not, not, not like it can't pivot back, but maybe it's just kind of trying to show too much too early. Hmm. And that's their idea there is just to make it make more sense because maybe they're doing this because they know that if they were to stay completely faithful to the order of the adaptation of the content, season one would not be able to foreshadow or like set up extra shit that would make people really excited to keep watching. For example, like Cha Hae-in's introduction, she has no business being shown this early, but she is. So who knows? Because I think it does help. I think the idea that Jin Huo, when he sees that key... Who? Jin, Jin Huo? It, I think the idea that Jin Huo... He's, he's, he's attaching the H on top of it. He's got to be trolling me right now. When he sees that key, it Jin says Hu? elixir. It makes sense why he immediately jumps to that dungeon. <laughs> okay. Because the idea behind it is that it's an S rank acquisition rank. And so that would make you think that it would take something of a... S, S rank, rank hunter. ...action to get yeah. it. Yeah. Now, he got it because he got a, a lucky box. Which that was kind of interesting, the idea of doubling up the stuff in order to get the secret. I would like to think that the curse box or the blessed box, they would both have the same outcome. If we're going to go with the conspiracy theory that the system is trying to push Jin Mu into being incentivized to become stronger and stronger, right? So like, it's like the, it's like the illusion of choice. It didn't matter if you chose left door or right door. You would have ended up on the same path. I don't know. Just my little conspiracy schizo headcanon. Reward. But it would make sense that you would assume that's going to be an s rank dungeon. He even makes that conclusion. So it, it had to have something there to indicate, hey, this is going to be really dangerous. And I need something to push me there. And like I said, I think the system would know that to say, oh, your mom. You need to get that cure, right? Your mom. You need to go this direction. I don't <laughs> know why that like was funny. I wonder if the manhwa ever mentions the elixir. Which, again, I don't need to know in the comments. I'm just, like I said, I'm reading alongside the show. I don't need to know any additional stuff. Anyways, that's... You know people are going to spoil him no matter what because he does that. I have that I'll happen all the time because, like, us, us content creators, when we're trying to, like, trying to make shit engaging, we ask questions, but they're rhetorical questions. But, like, some people don't understand and just spoil you. And I don't even blame you, to be honest, because I... It sounds like I'm directly asking for the question, right? For the answer, my, right? My thoughts on episode eight. 
Right now, seven. the animation is always the fight itself. Seven. No, your shot. No shot. Episode eight. No, he is one hundred percent dating me right now. I no, I'm not gonna get baited. No, I will not. I will not. I will not get baited. But please, go give Mr. Otaku Spirit a like on his video. Sub to the channel if you like. Viewers gives us. I I enjoy his perspective. Like uh, I know that we watch a lot of H branding content too. But uh, Otaku Spirit goes a little bit more nitty ditty details, and sometimes, or I should I should I say, a lot of times he baits us with the names. But I hope he continues to bait us. That's it from me.